Hi, this afternoon I would like to speak about the benefits of understanding your clients. So you've got a product or a service that you would like to offer and I've often heard entrepreneurs or business owners who will say my product is for anyone that is in need of this. Now we all know that anybody that needs bread doesn't buy the same type of bread. You need to get a bit more specific and start to understand my client prefers uh, rye bread. My client prefers rye bread because it's got organic um, ingredients, it's got seeds, it's got more fiber and so on. My client will not buy the other processed bread because A, B, C, D. What this does for you is it guides you in how to, to drive your advertising and what to, to eliminate when you advertise your, your product. So perhaps you're advertising to people that don't really care about the ingredients, but they care about the price. And you've put your emphasis of your advert on the ingredients. Already that's a client mismatch. What are some of the things that clients consider? Where do you sell? Is it available online? Do I need to go to the shops? Which shops is it available at? Where do they generally shop at the moment? Some of the other things is, what are they willing to pay? How much value do they place on your product? Who's your direct competitor that if your product wasn't there, this is a product that they'd be using? These are very important questions to ask yourselves and oftentimes people will say, I don't have a competitor. Don't we all say that my idea is original, I don't have any competitors, I'm the only one who's doing this recipe. Yes, but your clients are not hungry at the moment. They are eating bread and where is it from? So in trying to understand your clients, it's also important to understand what are their online um, habits? Which social media do they hang out at? So if your clientele is mostly on Facebook and you're advertising on Twitter, or your clientele is on Instagram and you are advertising on TikTok, there's a mismatch. It's important to take the time, just as much time and care you put in developing your product, it's important to spend a lot of time understanding and crystallizing who your clients are so that you are going to be very specific and very intentional in reaching them and also you will be authentic because you are reaching the people that value exactly what you've put into your product. So how can we apply this in a service business? If you're a consultant and you want to focus on small businesses, you really need to understand the intricacies and the things that happen in that space. If I want to supply or provide a service of accounting to small businesses, I need to understand how much are they willing or able to pay? Do they understand the value of having an accountant in your business? Is there a little bit of education that I need to do together with selling my products or do they already know? What are the pitfalls of not using my service? And do, does my client know? Do I use that as, as my advert? Where do I advertise it? How do I reach them? How do I partner with somebody that's already reached my clientele and I can be a partner service? But all of this comes with you understanding. So if I were to be marketing to early stage um, businesses and I want to market the service, do they look at it as a luxury or a core need of their business? How else can you change their minds? If you know that perhaps your service is a core need and your clientele is looking at it as, oh no, this is for big companies. So it's very, very important to understand who is my service for, how much do they value it, and how can I change their minds? Where can I advertise? Who is the person that they look up to? Where do they, what do they watch for inspiration? And how can I align myself to also be an educator, an inspirer, and then eventually a partner in their businesses? Thank you for watching. This is our afternoon tutorial from Bizpreneur.